we're going to be cooking lamb, a leg of lamb. We're going to be cooking lamb Greek style in orange. I'm going to prepare the marinade first and we're going to be using tea. I'm sorry, three tablespoons of mustard. And this is brown mustard. Wow, the taste of mustard. Okay. Now we're going to be adding four tablespoons of oregano. Wow, oregano smells so nice. There we go. Four, little more, little less, doesn't matter. And one of black pepper. Also, we're gonna be adding salt. And uh, for now, I'm just gonna be adding about one tablespoon of salt. Now, orange juice. Or you can use oranges. For this, I'm gonna be using about one cup. And I'm going to blend it like this until everything mixes together and the mustard is dissolved into the orange juice. Wow. This is gonna be a great lamb meal. I like to cook lamb at least uh, two, three times a month. And today is orange lamb Greek style. I have uh, a good size leg of lamb here. Uh, the uh, has already been the bone and uh, I am going to be poking holes and I am going to be placing uh, garlic cloves in different uh, parts of this uh, leg of lamb. Just go ahead and poke a hole and uh, stick a garlic. Wow. Okay, the next is to add one very, very important ingredient that I almost forgot. Can you guess what it is? Olive oil. The fuel for the heart. There could be no cooking without olive oil. Olive oil, I'm gonna be adding about uh, three, four spoons, about that much. Mix everything again. Wow. Now, this begins to look the way it should look. Very, very, very good, everything is mixed. The olive oil sure makes a difference. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to pour this on the lamb. Uh, this leg, we have already taken the bone out. Uh, the butcher did that at the store. So I am going to be putting some of the juice on the leg's uh, cavity. Yeah, so there is some of it inside and uh, then I'm gonna be rubbing the lamb with the marinade that we just made. Wow. 
this is just unbelievably it's gonna be good very very good mm -mm -mm. now what I am going to do is I am going to let the lamb with the marinade um, rest a little bit like uh, for about uh, I will say uh, 10 minutes give it or take and uh, then we'll place this in the oven this is uh, uh, this meal is good to make easy to make because you just prepare it marinate it and then put it in the oven and let the oven do the work while you can make the side dish so we're gonna let it sit here for about 10 minutes and we'll be back and put it in the oven now that uh, the uh, lamb with the marinade has been sitting for about 10 minutes we're ready to place it in the oven I have a roasting pan here and um, place the lamb on the roasting pan and then pour the marinade all over again wow it's gonna be very good trust me now I'm gonna place it in the oven for one hour at 375 degrees and we'll come back when it's almost ready the lamb is ready or almost ready I am going to uh, take it off uh, the rack for a little bit so I can take uh, the rack out and put it aside this is a little bit hot okay now here on the pan I still have a lot of the juices now combined with the juices from the lamb I am going to put the lamb back right on the middle I almost feel like cutting a little piece and eating it but I am going to wait and now I'm going to be adding zucchini calabacitas and onions just pour them in there they cook very quickly very fast oh my god mushrooms different types of mushrooms and I'm gonna be adding tomatoes you see now how this is a very very good meal mm -mm -mm. yes sabor now I'm going to place it in the oven again for another 10 15 20 minutes until everything is ready and we'll be ready to enjoy orange lamb Greek style with vegetables a meal to die for I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'll be back the meal is ready look at this just fantastic roasted lamb marinated in orange with uh, mustard, oregano, black pepper, olive oil, and vegetables. 
mezcla zucchini, mushrooms, tomatoes, onion. A meal to die for. I cannot wait to taste it. Delicious. Very, very good. Mm. Wow. You need to try this and make it for yourself. You will not be disappointed. Until the next video. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and uh, we'll be making another great dish next time. To your pleasure and my pleasure, salute.